Okay, so I've landed in Australia after a amazing 14 hour flight. <laughs> um, shit. I can't vlog trying to move my shit. Hold on. Okay, the line finally, finally stopped so I can vlog again. Um, it is definitely so much busier than it was when I came here. I came back about four months ago. Got super interrogated by my passport because it's 10 years old and I now have blonde hair and Botox and filler. <laughs> um, it is 11.30. Here, my flight left Dubai at 2.30. So I'm very, very excited for some sleep to get home. Hey, there she is. Fuck, it's good to have my car back. It's my birthday! And me and Marlette Hello. are going to Paddock for breakfast. So I'm in Australia now, obviously. Just got home two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. So bit jet lagged, very behind the sleep, um, but very excited to be home, very very excited. So, gonna have a few days off this weekend, be a bit flexible with my foods before we get back in training probably next week. Um, so I got breakfast this morning, lunch today, more lunches, more dinners, so stay tuned. Alright, I am dying for a coffee. Okay, so we are at the famous Paddock Bakery. We have a caramel apple cruffin, biscuit cruffin thing, whatever it's called. Yeah, cruffin, yeah. And the carrot cake, of course. You! Alright, so I got the truffle mushroom dish. My let's on prep. So Basic. she got her eggs and toast. So Chili, track. tomato relish. Uh, lit. And coffee, of course, and my treats. <laughs> <laughs> this looks dreamy. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's coming to summer, so it's time to crack the whip. It's time. Ready, my right. friend? Yes. Let's Stop fly. number two. Let's go. <laughs> this is um, a scallop sashimi, apparently. Very scared to try. <laughs> and salmon. Get some barbecue chicken, potatoes, greens, and trout. <laughs> All right, so we are back at Milet's house. Apparently, she's got something surprise for me. I'm very scared. <laughs> so I'm just waiting until she says the coast is clear for me to come into the house. So twenty-nine bitches. <laughs> Last year until I'm in my 30s. What the fuck? Alright, I'm scared. Fresh tipsies. <laughs> mm hmm. Baker? This is from my favorite baker. Yeah. Yeah, the ooze, the fully the 
Jesus. I promised you I'd get you one. <laughs> I did. Jesus Christ. That is the best thing ever. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> All right, guys. We've got to predict what flavor this is. Is it by my... My favorite baker. Which is on the packet. My favorite baker. <laughs> <laughs> which is my let's... Favorite. Favorite baker, literally. Baker, literally. Best. All the bloody cakes you post in your story. Literally, because they're amazing. Yeah. Lit. All right, time to cut the cake. Am I cutting down our faces or the side? Whatever you I want. The side. I want to keep my faces. Yeah? Yeah, do whatever. Like right. that way? Yeah. Shit. How big are you cutting? I don't know. Do I do like a piece Maybe or like, do a cross? I was going to say, maybe do like a piece. A piece? Okay, let's do a piece. I feel like I need to get right in there. <laughs> oh shit, it's going to explode, isn't it? Ready? <gasps> <laughs> the anticipation. I didn't explode. even get your plate. Let me get your plate. <laughs> Chocolate. Holy shit, look at it. Yum. It looks fucking lit. <laughs> lit. Lit. Until you try it. Lit. Oh shit, I've got some cake in here. Yeah. Whoa. That is hectic, sis. Girl. I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Legit. My mouth's watering. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew that'd be house or not. My fave. Fucking oh shit. Chocolate's like going everywhere. Mm. So much sauce. So much sauce. Morning guys. We are in Brisbane today. So I've got a full on day starting with a shoot with Adonis. Um not quite sure what it's for. I think it's for a new product, but we'll wing it and see how it goes. <laughs> um, so it's my cousin's company that owns Adonis, so Blake and Damien um, own it. And they are in Brisbane, which is an hour away from me. So I'm going to head into the venue, which is some group fitness gym thing. Um, don't really know what I'm in for, but let's go. So we're doing a some product shoot today. So we've got the new cookie dough. Protein cookie yeah. dough made yeah. with the casein protein. It's fucking lit. <laughs> and the new pre workout as well, which is power. Lit. guys so we just wrapped up our shoot because he like <laughs> for a donut with the new cookie dough and the power pre-workout this is lit by the way so I'm going to go try the rest of the flavors and then I'm running off to the IPB seminar for a big day all right so running a little bit late to the seminar so I ran a little bit later than usual with the photo shoot so we're just at Baldrum Underwood which is the new Baldrum I haven't seen yet either so I'm very excited to see it. Hello! Good, how are you? See ya. Oh, sorry. 
Good to see you. How was Dubai? Yeah, so how are you? Hello, good, how are you? It's been forever. I know, long time no see. Yes. <laughs> right, well, well, let's go. Starting, started. You late comers, you missed all the fun stuff. That's right. <laughs> um, so, um, so, have all the girls doing bikini down in that corner. All the guys, just all the guys come up here. And then any of the girls not doing bikini. Hello. Hello. Right. Well, there's a thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Did you get an old mate lift? And let's get it on. <laughs> no. And then in, in, in about... No. Most of you, yeah. Uh, any for figure? Good. Any for women's physique? Fitness? Anyone for wellness? Okay, cool. So what we'll do um, is break into groups for those divisions. Obviously, um, uh, bikini will be the big one. And then it'll be classic physique and physique we'll do together and men's bodybuilding. And then um, what I've done at the last few um, workshops to kind of help you guys to, not just to learn how it all works but how to learn how to perform on stage is at the end what we're going to do is do it like a little mini comp. So we're going to bring the bodybuilders out and you guys can compare poses. And then we're going to bring, the, for example, the bikini girls out. And the beauty of this is where a lot of people go wrong is they practice their pose, they have a posing coach, they're good at their T walk or I walk or whatever you want to call it, and then they get on stage and they freeze. And we call it their numbers, they don't know how to swap over, like the judge might say, we've got two, four, six, and eight. The judge might say, go two and six, swap places. And then you don't realise you're going to need to know what your number is and how to keep your chin up when you move and forward or back and that sort of thing. So I want to cover up a lot of that stuff today. The other thing that drives us mad as an organisation, because I'm really um, a little OCD crazy about our shows running on time, because traditionally bodybuilding shows before we took over were running till midnight, and they'd advertise they're going to start at 10, they start at 2, and it's just horrible. And your friends and family come to watch, and 10 hours later they go, fuck this, I'll never, ever, <laughs> ever do this again. So we want to leave them wanting more every time, where they go, wow, that was so efficiently run. And what we do backstage is make, like, John and Bella here do an amazing job backstage. So we set up like a, it's like your own gym. We've got equipment there. We've got warm-up stuff. We've got the tanning area. We've got the hair and makeup area. Like It's like a um, salon um, with Tegan and her team and our tanning with ProTan. Everything's so professional. You guys have a great time backstage. We have some snacks there. And, you know, it's a really good vibe and probably the best venue in Australia for that. Um, but we also want the audience to have a great time, so we don't want any gaps between divisions. So we're going to go through some of that stuff, so that when you go backstage, there's always a meeting like this before the show. You've got to listen carefully and work out what order it's in. Unfortunately, um, we've done the, the female and males in different sessions, so that makes it a little less stressful. And then at the Nationals, um, which on the end of October, the, all the girls are on the Friday and all the guys are on the Saturday. So it also lessens, you know, the confusion backstage. But you've got to be ready to go on. So, for example, if you're in first-timers and there's four categories, you know, short, medium, tall and super tall, um, you know that you're in the first-timers. When they start with the short ones, the medium ones and tall ones have got to be ready to go on. Not, you know, hiding in a corner with some bands trying to get a little pump on. Because if you miss... Imagine tra dieting for six months and then missing your class because you're talking to your coach or something. Like, just... Work with us on that. So um, one of the things that we, we say is when you do your walk on, whether it's men's physique or bikini or wellness, and you come to the back of the stage, so let's say you walk from the, there and you get to the back of the stage, the worst thing you can do is to stand here for more than 0.5 of a second because the light is shit. The light at the front of the stage is perfect. <coughs> we spend you know, money and time getting the lighting right, but at the back of the stage, it doesn't matter. And we say it time and time again. So, for example, you get to the back of the stage... And I can't, when I'm standing with a microphone, then you freeze and do this and then go. And there's no line. I don't want to be a prick and go, go to the front, move. You're fucked up. I can't. So that's why today I can. So when we have a little practice later, I'm going to be fucking brutal. All right? So if I say one second, you come out here, right? You get to here, you count to one. One. And then you move forward. Here's your spot and you stand there and do your routine. That's where the light's perfect, that's where the judges are judging you, and it all works. Now imagine you've got six seconds to do your thing, and you stand back there for four. When you get to the front, you're in your first pose, and go, thank you, next. And everyone goes, oh, he's a prick. No. Just 
no light back there. Don't do it. All right. So this is some. And if you add all that up, um, it might be five minutes per division that we say. That's an hour over the day that the audience haven't got to watch people at the back of the stage where there's no light being embarrassed. So there's little things like that. There's things like knowing when you walk on and do you think do you go to that side or to that side. Now backstage expediters and helpers will say, you know, for the first let's say there's ten girls in a bikini class. When you come on you do you don't stand back there, you come to the front, you do your routine, then the first five stand over there, the other five stand over there, and then we call you out. So I want to go through a lot of that today because that's one of the coaches and posing people don't really teach you because they're too busy teaching you, you know, your poses and your cute little transitions and all that. But that doesn't help the show to flow. What helps the show to flow and for you to perform is to get all this stuff right. So you've got to remember, <clears throat> when the lights go on, we're all in the entertainment business. You guys have got bikinis, I've got a suit on, John's immaculately dressed all the time. <laughs> and, and everything's got to run like clockwork. So that's what today is a big part of it, just to teach you guys that stuff. So you don't look silly on stage and, you know, I haven't got to keep saying all day, don't stand in the back. <laughs> um, so particularly with the men's physique and bikini, just remember that one thing. Um, so just so you know, there's, there's all of our shows start on the 1st of October. Um, our first show is in Adelaide on the Saturday. The next one's in Melbourne on the Sunday. And then we go to Sydney the next week, which will be the week of the 9th. And then we're here. Um, for the week of the 16th, and then we're in Perth, and then we're back here for the Nationals, which fortunately for you guys is in Queensland this year. So um, be aware, you can go and do any of the other shows that you want. Um, you don't have to do your Queensland one, please do, but if you've got a wedding on or something happens, you have to do one show to do the Nationals, but you can do any of them. Some people are going to try and do the whole season this year and go from show to show, because one thing you find, you get better every time you compete. If it's two weeks apart, if you go back to April, everyone that came down from the Queensland show and did the Nationals, every single one improved. You know, and, and you, you might spend six months getting ready for your Queensland show um, on the weekend of the, is it the 16th, and just fuck it all up. You know, um, over carb, try and dry out too much, get flat, not get your tan right. Well, rather than just sort of go, oh, you know, what a loser, I fucked up. Um, think about what can I do in two weeks now to absolutely improve. Or you might absolutely nail it. And then you go, so how far can I take this? How much can I improve in two weeks? And I always use this example a couple of years ago um, in Sydney. It was right before the lockdown. One of our pros, <coughs> pro qualifiers, was the lead up to the Arnold. And we did the show in Sydney. It was one of the girls who was hot favourite to win. Got third in her state show just Thought about not going down to Melbourne to do the, the pro qualifier. Decided, how well, two weeks I might be able to improve and absolutely nail it. Went on, won her pro card, beat everyone in the country and placed top five in her first pro show the same day. It would have been really easy just to have a loser attitude and go, oh, I should have won that first one. And the judges had it in for me or, you know, I'm changing coaches, all the normal things we hear. <laughs> Instead, have a look at yourself. Get a picture and say, what can I do in two weeks to improve on this? It might just be your tan, it might be your hair. It might be your bikini colour didn't suit you under the lights. There's always a bunch of shit you can change to improve. So what we're saying is John and I would like to see all of you go on and do the Nationals if you do your state show. You know, it's the first time we've been able to bring it up here um, on this scale over a two-day show to Queensland. Um, so you've got the home ground advantage. You haven't got to fly, worry about hotels or anything. So please do that and feel welcome to come to any other states if you choose to do so. Um, some of you guys have asked about going to the Amateur Olympia or any of the other shows worldwide. That's all on again. So once you become a member of MPC Worldwide, if you do a local show, a regional show, which is what these ones are, you can then compete at any NPC open show in the world. And I know some of the girls are going to do... Um, do the show here and then go over to the Amateur Olympia. And one of those is Emily over here, who's doing the Queensland show. She's one of our official photographers. Um, you'll see on the, on the website when you enter this photo package is available. Um, what we're doing in the posing groups um, is, we did it in Melbourne last week, we're doing it again here today, is Emily will be going around just doing candid shots while you're doing your posing and at the end and all the rest of it. Um, and they're really cheap, we're just covering her time. There's no obligation, no one... We're not making you buy photos, take your own photos, whatever. But to have a professional photographer of her standard here is something you can learn from. You might say, 
I'll have a look at my, what it looks like now and then what it looks like in what four or five weeks' time when showtime comes. So that's here for you. Um, please be a part of it. Um, one other thing with tanning. Um, ProTan's our official tanning sponsor. Yes, they pay us. Um, not a lot, but to be the professional tanning sponsor. They're the best in the world. It's really, really simple. Andrea that runs it, she's backstage. I've been doing the backstage uh, interviews in the Olympia for years. She's always there backstage tanning because she's so good they fly her over. Right? Best in the world. Right now, one in 20 people will have a coach or a friend who competed with NABA in the 70s or something. Says, oh, I've got this <laughs> fucking other stuff, not pro tan. It's way better. It's called Dream Tan or fucking clay or mud or some shit, right? And you put it on and it looks unreal. And you're in the mirror and you're doing selfies, fuck, and it's glittery and stuff, and look at me, fucking mum. <laughs> and then you get on stage and you don't look like anyone else and it's actually green under the big strong lights. And then when it's really close, the judges go, well, phew, I can't give it to the green guy because he's sort of, <laughs> where well, he's meant to have cuts and definition veins is filled in those gaps with this fucking spack filler or whatever it is. <laughs> so, and then some people say, oh, yeah, but this other stuff's cheaper. Okay. So you spend money on a coach and 500 bucks on a bikini and da 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 And then you go, go, fucking 40 bucks extra for tanning. Don't. It's, please. It's just, and I've seen people lose contests because they've just put shit tan on. Or they were just too cheap to use the official tanning people. They're really good. They're not expensive. And as a judge, if you've got like everyone on stage is bronze and then there's one green one, well, how do you judge the green one? <laughs> or the red one or blue or whatever the fuck. Because some of these tans come out, honestly, I'm not just doing comedy. John Savage, we've seen it. Oh, man. And you see it backstage and I go, John, tell him to wipe that shit off. I'll, I've gone to Andrew and said, can I buy a tan for this lady because she's green and she's probably just scrape that other shit off if you're tanned right now we're spraying that. Because it's that bad and it can cost you six months of your life. Uh, it's pretty simple, all right? So just go along with what we're saying. It's not a thing. Same with makeup. Tegan Woodford's probably the best in Australia at what she does. She understands what makeup looks like on stage. My friends are MUA. We're going to do it in the car. Well, fuck, I hope it's not 40 degrees out there because it'll run down your face or it'll just free. I don't know what makeup does, but. It's just got to blend as well. Yeah, and it's got to blend with your tan. It's a different colour than normal nightclub makeup. Bar, what do you do? So you've got to have, you know, the, the tan's a very funny colour, not green, the bronze one. So your makeup's got to blend with that. You don't want to come out and have like a nightclub head and a stage body. So that's going to look odd, and then the lights will hit your forehead, and you look like you've big long head. <laughs> See what I'm eating with this? I was trying to make it fun too. <laughs> but the point is, we have these official people that we've handpicked that are really, really good at what they do. Um, hair and makeup, we're not forcing you to do whatever the hell you want, but I've seen it go awfully wrong. So if you can, book in with the official people. They have a salon backstage where it's air conditioned, it can't go wrong. And uh, and the tanning, it's a, it's a no brainer. Please use Pro Tan. You know, I'll be just personally pissed off if you don't, because it's just dumb. And, the host, and I know there's a coach out there somewhere saying, so don't. He's lying, there's this stuff I've got. <laughs> every time, eh? Every time. Every time there's one. There's two things that always happen every year. If someone comes out with a bad tan, that we look at and go, if their tan was better, they'd probably do better. Or they pose badly. They come out, and everyone, especially the ladies, obviously, you've only got a few poses to do, right? So it's critical you make sure those poses are done exactly like our judges require you to do them. So if you've gone to another federation, and we support every, any federation coming to us, but make sure you follow our criteria of posing. Because like Tony said, if you do your pose at the back and then walk at the front, and then you, know, you move on, or you come to the front and hit ten poses, you're gonna, you know, it's not what we want. Or you hit poses that, that were made for a different federation that are not in line with what we want. And that's why we're very specific about, if you want to know what, as a bikini uh, model, you need to look like, Look at the Miss Olympia bikini. That's the way you need to look. That's the way you need to pose. If you want to be a bodybuilder, you know, or, or a classic physique, and you say to us, you know, what, sh what do I need to look like this year? Should I be hard or soft? Look at the Miss Olympia. That's what we're going off. We make it very, very simple that way. So make sure you get your posing right. Yeah. Okay. Well, today, it's going to by going through.
Oh, me? Yeah. So we're going to me and have some of the We're going to go through and correct your front face and back face. Yeah, we're going to run through the position before we go through our walk and do a dummy. Watch your face. So is there anyone that hasn't started facing yet or doesn't have a face? Anyone at all? No? No. Alright, so we can grab some lines, about five lines in front of the mirror. Stand up to the front face.
the girl before you goes on stage, you're going to be standing on the side ready to go. So when you're on stage, make sure you're not going to sleep. You don't want to be on the side. Like, maybe you can't take it. So, or what I always tell my girls, stand in your transition mode, and you're ready to go. So as soon as they say your day, as soon as they say out, you're just like to stay. So you're going to stand right, you're going to march, you're going to stand up. As Tony mentioned, you don't want to spend too much time here. So like maybe one, two, three, four, 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 when you get to the front, you want front pose. How many of you do I walk down? Back to the front. Where are the two? And then go. And then go. And then go. And then go. One second, yes. And then you walk to the front. <laughs> this is where the light's really good. They're the judges. This is where you do your routine. Right? Then when I say go off to the side, you're going to go off to here. We'll do one diagonal and one on the other side. Then we're going to call you in. That's a do some posing um, practice. Um, that's the judges will call out your shot. Hello. <laughs> and you can tell them to walk forward and all that stuff. Right? Looks like you're first. Right, so you're going to come to here. Wait one second, here we go. This is for men's physique. <coughs> okay, too long. Got to keep moving. You keep your pose, what's next? <laughs> yep. Thank you very much. You can follow up. You can follow up.
Well done, everyone. Well done. You can improve. And I always say to everyone, it's you against you. So the best thing you can do, whatever show you do, is to get a picture of yourself, stick it up on your fridge, don't try and beat the person that beat you in your class, because they might move on or whatever. Try and beat that person of yourself. Get the photo, put it up on the fridge, and then beat that person. And repeat, and repeat, and you become a world champion. It's that simple. I will be around for a little while if anyone's got any questions. Thank you to the judges for giving up their time today. Thank you to all the pros that came down to help. Really appreciate all of you. Um, that is one impressive uh, posing workshop. Great standard, and um, thanks again, everyone. We'll be around for a while. Cheers.